Uh, my name is Stephanie Wheeler. I'm a graduate student uh, from the University of Florida. And so I'm, I'm out here at Impala working on a project on, um, on weavers. So they're yellow weavers. Um, and in particular right now I'm focusing on the Vitaline masked weaver. And so I'm trying to catch as many birds as I possibly can and get them color banded uh, so that next year when I come back, um, I can follow them around a lot easier when they're in their colonies um, and try to record social dynamics um, and their breeding system. Initially, I was interested in looking at how, um, how they may be affected by living near humans um, because a lot of birds, uh, a lot of species within this genus are actually found uh, within really close proximity to, to humans. So, um, these guys actually are just here right now um, getting food out of compost and then a lot of them nest um, like in villages and things like that. But overall I'm, I'm really interested as well in looking at um, hierarchies, um, dominance hierarchies within the um, colonies and maybe also within non-breeding flocks um, because they form flocks during the non-breeding season. Um, and I'm just kind of interested in looking at uh, a lot of their breeding behavior because a lot of that has, um, has been not well, too well documented for some of the species that I'm interested in. After I've caught a bird, um, I uh, prepare like color bands for it and things like that. So the color bands are what helps me um, identify individuals in the field without having to recapture them. So each one gets its own combination that no other bird gets. Um, and it also gets a, an aluminum band um, that also has a number on it that no other bird should have. And so um, I give them their color bands and then take measurements like weight, um, the length of the wing and tail and other things like that. Um, I look at how much muscle mass they have um, to also kind of give me an indication of how healthy they are, um, how much fat they have, um, and uh, like their molt, um, if they're molting or not. Um, and then I take also a blood sample, and the blood sample will be important later for helping me um, identify um, uh, paternity. How birds like that are um, are adapting to live near humans, um, if it's good for them to be near humans, um, and what they're doing and what we can do to maybe make things easier for them or for other species that, um, that are in areas that are going to maybe be inhabited by people later. Mm -hmm.